So our time in the Northeast has come to an end. Normally we move around once every two or three years and it's been about three years since we left California. We are gonna travel for the next two months. So I've got to balance enjoying the camper with the heat, with my kids enjoying their time on this adventure. They love coming with me. I try to bring them out as much as possible. I don't usually put them in my videos. On the one hand, I want to respect their privacy, but on the other hand, and this is my perspective, they're gonna think back and they're gonna cherish those memories that they spent with me out camping and doing adventures. So I've got the van fully loaded, more loaded than it's ever been before. It's packed in there. I got my bike, so I'll be doing a little bit of bike riding over the next few weeks. Got the whole family with me. One of the best things about traveling with the Toyota Sienna is even with my trailer back here, I'm still getting about 20 miles per gallon and I'm going up and down the hills in Pennsylvania. Hey kiddo, are you enjoying your road trip? Yep. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that I love coffee. And the, my favorite coffee on the road when I'm traveling is actually McDonald's coffee. And the reason is, is it tastes the same everywhere we go. And it's only like a dollar a cup. So I got a large cup of coffee for a dollar. I'm good to go for the rest of the day. And of course, I am not sponsored by McDonald's. I am, however, sponsored by the subscribe button. We got a great spot out here in this area. And the only problem is we're kind of on a hill. So we need to park in a way that we stay level. So let's see. I think if I angle a little more, it's pretty level. We're not in New York anymore. It's like 85 degrees here. I've got these like window screens. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my windows down, pop the screens on to keep any bugs out of the vehicle. These things go on pretty easy. Put that on like that. And then I'm just gonna drag this around the front. That's pretty much it, pretty solid. So if you look, I have a nice little seal right here. I mean, something very small or like a, a strong bug could probably work its way under there. But for the most part, anything that's flying is not gonna try to go in there. So I've tried these things a couple times now and they're not like a game changer. I mean, if it's 90 degrees outside, the van is still gonna be basically 90, even a little bit more. But what's not gonna happen is I'm not gonna accumulate all that extra heat from having the windows closed. And look how easy these things go over. Just right over that mirror and I have Basically, again, a nice little seal right here. It's a little bit less than normal here. Let's see. Maybe I'll tighten that up a little bit. Let's see if I tighten it. Oh yeah, there you go. There we go, sealed up. It's like a perfect day to set up the awning. We're under the sun. It's about 90 degrees and we're gonna get a little shade under the awning. You wanna help me set it up? Grab this. Oh, I get stuck here. All right. Can you undo that Velcro? Let me get you started there. So here's where I need like extra set of hands, okay? I'm gonna hold this out, don't worry about this, but there's those metal rods in there, you see them? Mm -hmm. Those two metal rods? Yep. I'm gonna want you to... Grab them? Yep, and pass them out to me. All right, hand me that one, good. Cool. I'm gonna... oh. Nice and tight. And I got you here. Oh, uh -huh. mm. Nice and tight, not going anywhere. Oh, does it feel a lot cooler under the shade? Mm -hmm. So we got the awning set up and now we're just gonna relax a little bit and we'll set up the tent a little later to make sure that we don't overheat today. One disadvantage to something like this minivan camper is when I travel with my family. I mean, it really is only set up for solo travel. 
So I do have to augment with the tent like you're gonna see later. And one of my goals is to get a full size van that I can have five seats in and then set up maybe bunk beds in the back. So we're here at a local farm that we pass through pretty much every time we go from the east coast to the west coast. In this case, we're not going all the way to the west coast. We love staying at this campsite. And this is almost like the kind of campsite you'd find through an app like Hip Camp or something. But this is actually a, a family that I know and we travel with them or we visit them, as I said, every time we pass through this area. We do have the van in the sun here. I hate having it in the sun, but I think with the trees around us. We should be okay later uh, with some shade as the evening starts to come along. We are getting eaten up by bugs a little bit, so we're gonna close up these doors so we don't get too much bugs inside of the van. Okay, so I got my two-person tent out. This thing is super small, but with me and my son, it's perfect. I have this little, it's really a camping quilt another little pillow so everybody has a pillow to rest their head and then my inflatable mattress to get all this stuff out of the minivan i did have to put the seat forward i do store that stuff behind the seat right there stores perfectly out of the way and for trips like this it's perfect it's still about 80 degrees and you'll see in a second there that we lost the shade under our awning as it went that way and the sun is starting to go this way. For this setup, I'm gonna put the face of my tent over there. I feel like I'm sliding that way a little bit because we're on kind of a hill. This is like the best that we're gonna get. So the low is gonna be like in the 60s tonight. So the temperature is gonna be like perfect to sleep. It's just currently the high. It's kind of high. This tent is about three years old and I use it pretty much with the camper all the time. And it's very small, but it's perfect for what I like to do. I'm gonna put this through there. So now those are stuck together. Same thing here, these two go together. And then just button these up. I've got the tent set up, but what I wanna do is wait to fill up my little inflatable mattress. Just because it is so hot, I wanna do this stuff slowly but surely. The low tonight is gonna be about 64, which is perfect for camping. The high today was close to 90, and it's even right now still about 82 degrees. So it's still pretty hot. I'm not gonna put any stakes down. I'm just gonna throw my gear in there. And when I move tomorrow, it'll be easy to just pick it up and go. So I'm not gonna set the rain fly up. I'm not too worried about it raining tonight, and it might rain a little bit, but I'm mostly waterproof, so if I do get wet, it won't be too bad. My main thing is keeping the little bugs from biting me all night, and I think I've got that accomplished with this setup. <laughs> The van is like super packed right now. You can't really tell. I do have this back seat down, but I have like five or six backpacks under my bed full of clothes, toiletries, various things that we need to survive for the next two months and be comfortable. So this is a double wide air mattress. It's perfect for like this little two person tent that I have here. And the funny thing is it has these two valves on it, but these two valves go to the same air chamber. So it's one air chamber, two fillers. Get the bottom a little bit for me, please. Good, okay. Yeah, we'll zip it back up. That way no insects get in there when we're messing around, right? 
Okay, so are you good? Yep. All right, sleep tight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock the doors. I put the windows up. And then what you can do is, after I have the doors locked, you can flip this little switch right here and uh, get in and out of the vehicle, but all the rest of the doors will remain locked, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'll be out here in the tent all night. If you need anything, just give me a shout, okay? All right. Good night, baby. Good night, Dad. Love you. Love you.